Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today I just wanted to take a minute to appreciate the progression of the quad track in 1 to 64 scale as well as um, this is representative I guess of the real ones. So in 1 to 64 scale we may not have one for every single real um, quad track but I've got a pretty good sampling here. And this is going to be kind of the different um, generations, you could say, of the quad track as we progress through time. So first of all, we started off, we've got a 9370, um, which of course they make a 9380 toy as well. But this is kind of that first generation of the quad track. So pretty cool. Um, and then as far as toys go... Um, we really don't have anything until we get to this STX 440. So um, a little more modern here toy. Now this one does happen to be the narrow frame um, instead of the wider frame. The STX 440 quad track. And then we've got a 535 quad track, so a little bit newer. Um, this is 10 years into the quad track production. This is an anniversary, uh, you see there on the hood. And they start putting the GPS here as well. Um, and this one does have the wider hood than the STX 440. Um, wider frame quad track, you can see there. Then, um, as we progress, Next, what we have is the 550, and um, we've got the introduction of the road track. We've got the 350 here, and the road track units, obviously in real life, are produced up to the current model. But as far as toys go, the 350 is really the only road track we've ever gotten, and um, pretty cool piece i wish they'd do a modern road track unit but it is authentics but it does have the the great detail like that 450 uh, steiger does but in a road track variation but we see here the 550 um the body on it And then it was updated. And the next one we have is a 620. And like I said, this isn't representing all the toys made. I just, the different body styles of the toys. Because there is more um, that are made with those body styles. I just want to represent each body style. Um, bigger exhaust. They changed all this up here. And those are the main changes between that and the 550. So, see changes going on there. And then we got the next one. Um, this is the 540, which you can also get a 620 toy that has this body generation. Um, big updates on this is the air cleaner. Now, the toy did get mirrors, but um, as far as the actual thing, the air cleaner, a um, little more exhaust done a little different as well but um and you can see too they've done a little bit of changes as far as how they lay out the the little lines on the steps and stuff um, but still very very similar there um but like i said the biggest thing being that air cleaner is how you can tell these apart and then we've got the newest, the 715, so totally different looking. Big hood, big grill, bigger cab. Cab roof's elongated. Um, this thing looks totally different, big change. As you see, like the last three quads didn't really change that much. And then this newer body style, quite a big difference. So um, anyways, Hope you enjoyed this video. Just kind of wanted to point out the changes over time. Like I said, some of them are minor. 
we kind of progressed through our quad track toys and a, and we've now ended up at the 715 beast of a quad track really cool toy so thanks for watching let me know in the comments what your favorite quad track is of all time have a good day